It's Beckett with our children's message for today. I want to talk to you about trust falls. It is something you do with someone you trust. Mom! So the idea is you prove you have trust in someone, that you think they'll help you out when you need them by falling in a way that you can't stop yourself from falling, which means you cross your arms and fall back hopefully into their arms. You say something like falling, and the person behind you says something like ready. Ready! And then you fall. It's a fun game to play with someone you trust. But today we're talking about trusting God. I'm falling, God! Ow! Does that mean God is not trustworthy? No, of course not. I mean, it would have been pretty cool if God had caught me in midair. But usually that's not the kind of miracle God does. But in our story for today, a woman has this straw with something very expensive in it. And she could sell it and give the money away. But somehow she knows that Jesus needs what's in the jar. She can feel God leading her into the house where he's staying. In front of all the people who don't want her there. And she gives this to Jesus. Why? Because she trusts in God. I'm following God. God again didn't catch me there. But God does catch the woman. I mean, he doesn't actually catch her. But when everyone starts being mean to the woman, Jesus defends her, saying, She has done what she could. She has anointed my body before its burial. Truly, I tell you, whoever the good news is proclaimed in the world, what she has done will be told in remembrance of her. So what does this mean for us? It means you need to try big things, important things, things this world really needs, like feeding everyone, healing everyone, Everyone, getting housing for everyone and then trusting the God will help us do that important thing like Jesus did for the woman with the jaw. I'm following God. Ah! And sometimes God sends us people to help us with those big important things. So trust God and put that trust to work. Go try something big and important and watch how God makes it happen. That's it for this children's sermon. Amen. Yeah.